Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Well today I want to do some solar ignition. You know it's my favorite. Got plenty of sun, no clouds, but the sky is very hazy, very misty. Um, what I want to show you is using my reading glasses. These are just 1.75 and it's not the power anyways that matters. It's the size of the magnifier. When I had, when I had lenses about like that, I had to hold it like this far away to get a focal point. Now that the, these lenses are about twice that size, focal point is about right here. So, always wear your shades when doing solar experiments. I would turn the camera and let you see how hazy everything is, but it doesn't show up. So, I've got... Uh, my pine needles down here, these are the real coarse ones that I was complaining about, that they're not as reactive and they're harder to work with than the last batch that I had. I've already got about four hand-sized balls made up, so we'll ignite some char cloth. Go ahead and put it in between two of those, those balls of loblolly pine needles and blow it into flames. Let's see if we can get three ignitions. Anybody might get lucky and make one. Let's go for three. Magnification is 1.75. As usual, you're gonna find the hottest part of the focal point on your finger first, and then put the char cloth in front of it. That's it right there, let's try it. All right, the char cloth just turned very, very bright because that's the focal point reflecting off of that ash. Let's do another one. Let's see. I'm going to set these two out this time. There. There goes my pine needles. Oh, it just got very, very bright.
Max Tender bundle in my five gallon bucket. I've got plenty of char cloth. Don't find it on your finger first. Took a while, there must be more mist and more haze that moved in front of the sun. I'm not sure how well bifocals will work, but I imagine with enough patience, bifocals would work too. All right, let's go ahead and try to ignite some punkwood. It's two hours later, it's 12 o'clock, and the sun is directly overhead, so the sun, the photons, are closer to the magnifier. So the closer the sun is to the magnifier, the less dirty air that the photons have to go through. Probably need to take and smear this with some charcoal to make it black or to take like a magic marker or anything to make it black would cut way down on the ignition time. I don't see any dark places on here to concentrate on. So, I mean, we still may need to do that, but let's give it a try. This is very light punk wood. Still want to find it on your hand first.
shades when doing solar experiments. When you have to look at a focal point for this long, it can uh, make persistence in your vision. I see a dark spot happening. So now I will not have to darken it with a magic marker or with some charcoal because if I'd done that experiment first, I'd have still had to turn around and do this one here to prove that it will ignite a reflective surface as bright as this. So, and you know what? The sky is still very hazy. Can you imagine on the summer solstice doing this at 12 o'clock? It's it'd probably it'd probably ignite pine needles. Here's some tulip poplar bark. Let's use tulip poplar bark instead of leaves or pine needles for a change. I saved a couple of pieces of the, the good punk wood. This is wanting to go to flames in my hand. Should we let the wind blow on it? All right, y'all. Appreciate you joining me on this one. Wheel. Almost got my punk wheel blown away. Catch you on the next one.